Hello there Machinima, Pyrotos aka Tommy here, bring you a game of Domination and High Rise using the F2000 and the Kimbo Rangers. Two things you don't see that often. Well, the Rangers you do see quite often. But the F2000, personally, I pretty much never ever see it. You could say it's one of the one of the most underused gun guns in the game, I think that's a pretty fair statement to make. So Domination. High Rise is uh, notorious for domination, for being, for the spawns actually locking in one side each. If you've got two flags, um, domination on High Rise is extremely easy. Well, I, I say that, it's easy on any level if you've got two flags. But High Rise especially because of the two buildings at either end, you get trapped in them. Uh, if you've got the one flag, say for example we took B, they'd be trapped at C. Every time they die, they'd spawn in at C. Um, we'd have them trapped in that building, and I think that happens to both teams in this game at different points. So immediately I'll rush up into C, well, sort of rush, as far rushing as walking can take you. Uh, find these two guys, manage to get one of them, and fail with a throwing knife. I'm pretty sure I get about five near misses with a throwing knife this game. Kind of annoying, but there we go. So I've combined it with Lightweight uh, Pro, Bling Pro and Steady Aim Pro, which are the perks I really like to use with the F2000. And I chose the Ranger Akimbo because for Lightweight Pro, I just think that's the best thing to use. That's just an opinion. And um, yeah, definitely Lightweight Pro is my favourite uh, second tier perk. Because stop it. back in the old Call of Duties, well, I, I've only ever played Call of Duty 4 and World at War bef before this, and um, so I don't know what any of the previous ones are like. But I know in COD 4 and World at War, there's a huge, I guess, um, uh, the perk stopping power was present in both of those games, and it was hugely more useful than the other perks. I mean, stopping power and Juggernaut were pretty much the only ones that were actually useful. Think back to the days when you were playing. How many people did you ever see not using Stopping Power or Juggernaut? The thing I find about this game is that the perks are pretty balanced. I mean, yeah, there may be some guns that aren't balanced. Model 1887, cough, cough. Although it has been fixed now, to be fair. But, um, take the perks, especially the middle perks. Lightweight Hardline, Danger Close, Stopping Power. I forget the rest because I have shit memory. Um, but you can pretty much use any of them with any gun. And I mean, it gives you free choice, is what I'm is what I mean to say. There's no kind of obligation to use it. Back in COD 4 and World at War, it was oh yeah, you stop and bar, or you're dead, basically. But here, I feel you can be free and use whatever you want. So I picked Lightweight Pro. And what you get from the Pro version is that you're able to stop running uh, quickly. Yeah, that doesn't sound like it makes much makes much sense, but um, you're able to f sh uh, start shooting again in a shorter amount of time than you would be normally. I think it cuts the time in half between sprinting and being able to shoot again. So here, what I was talking about earlier of the spawn trap, we are trapped in A here, and if you've ever been trapped on domination on high rise, you'll know that it's extremely hard to get out of. Uh, so here, basically, there is nothing I can do except wait in this little, this little part of the level here and wait for the payload to go away. Because once the payload's out, you can make a break for it and you know, go towards the other flags. And this is a pretty long game, not gonna lie. And um, I admit that this game I don't really pay much attention to the flags. I normally would do. Uh, I'm very much a objective kind of person in general. But this game I kind of uh, neglected it a bit. I think mainly because I knew our team was pretty behind on the kills side of things. With the kill streaks and such, and I just want to get some air support up to help us out. I think we do win in the end, luckily, so um, at least my teammates were pretty uh, dedicated to the course of winning. So we finally make a break out of A once the payload is gone. I think they get a care package. What do they get from it? Oh, yeah, they get a chopper gunner from that. Yeah, that's fair. Give them four kills, give them a chopper gunner. That's fair. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, I don't have Stinger Missiles on, so, um, you know, I have to make a quick run for it in a second to save me uh, dying to a chopper gunner. But I think my Harrier actually takes it down, which is kind of nice. Wasn't wasn't really expecting that, but in case you didn't know, Harriers can shoot down 
a lot of air support which makes you wonder what is the point of attack helicopters I have no idea anyways uh, out of ammo for the F2000 but never mind there's an ACR with uh, the always popular noob tube here and now now that we've got two flags and my air supports up it's pretty the table has just been turned just like that pretty much they're in at sea there's nothing much they can do except be spawn killed and the funny thing is uh, whereas I was staying in there protecting myself from the air support and just pretty much doing nothing just waiting for it to go uh, they seem to have a habit of actually running out and continually trying to get killed now whether that be to see whether the paver runs out of bullets or whether the pilot will go mad out of depression from killing so many people I don't know but either way they're not going to stop running out it would be sensible for them just to wait at the back so you basically just catch them as they're running out take advantage of every opportunity pretty much and while you've got two flags uh, you're in a better position in domination anyway so there's no need to cap the third one if you do the spawns just become pretty pretty unpredictable so it's probably best just to leave it at two unless you're desperately losing and then you need, probably need to cap the third one as well Anyways, I'm running out with the ACR as well, so kind of need to pick something up pretty soon. I'm not moving much here, you see, because, well, I could kind of strafe along the windows and catch him, but the Harrier's up as well now, so I really don't want to get caught by that. It's funny that the Harrier can kill you probably quicker than a chopper gunner in some cases. Uh, so I'll go for a little run around here as these guys come around with the old Ranger Akimbo. And Lightweight Pro seems to work extremely well with these. I think I said that at the start here, but it just does. If you try it out, you know what I mean. It's pretty hard to explain there. And I think they, yeah, they got B now, so we're still pretty, we're still losing on points here. And I think I died in a second here to the sky of his G18 Akimbos. Yep, there we go. And the Cap C as well. Wow. So uh, I didn't even know that guy was there. So here you see a bit of uh, FMJ put to use as I spray through about three layers of wall. Okay, admittedly they were pretty thin walls, but there we go. And this this guy who uh, used copycat on me manages to kill me. I think they call that the uh, ID thief challenge, don't they? And I don't know how, but we somehow have all the flags again now. I'll say it again, I'm... I am sorry for not paying much attention to the flags, I usually do, but it's probably one of my first domination games, I'm more of a deathmatch player. And if you see here, I hit this guy directly with flashbang. Does he die? No. Of course he doesn't. Well, if he didn't die, at least he could have been actually blinded, but that's, uh, that's a pretty good representation of my luck in this game. But I still love it anyway, so, you know love-hate relationship more FMJ there and surprise surprise who kills me yeah the guy with the grenade launcher and okay somehow they've managed to get all the flag back again I was gonna cap B but I knew there's some guys there so yeah there we go it's a pretty crazy map actually high-rise because there's a lot of ways people people can come at you from and um Pretty much domination, I feel a lot safer with a riot shield. It's pretty much the only way I do feel safe. Unless I'm kind of behind a wall of teammates. And... But I guess just make the most make the most of it. You can't choose your teams, you can't You know, you can't always tell what's gonna happen. So just play it as it goes along, have fun, make the most of the opportunities. And they're trapped in at A again here as they try to cap B, but I'm not having any of that. The F2000, let me give a couple of tips on the F2000. Now, you'll find yourself running out of ammo pretty quickly. Okay, I don't use it very sparingly, admittedly, but... Unless you're using Scavenger, you'll probably run out pretty quick. Scavenger or One Man Army. I do have another video on my channel using this exact same setup. 
It's a team deathmatch game if anyone's interested. The channel, my channel will be at the end. And here I rush into their spawn at A and try and catch a few of them off guard, get some more kills. My teammate caps A here, probably shouldn't have done. It's probably best just to leave him with two points. Although that might have actually won us the match, I don't know. We see yet another fail. Oh, we're full of fails today, aren't we? And if you see there, the little little manoeuvre I did around the corner there, the little rush around the corner bit, I think that's a good example of where Lightweight Pro comes in helpful. Comes in helpful? Does that make sense? I haven't done English in years. Um, so the reason I didn't stay in cap A there, normally I would have, uh, but you'll notice in a second they all spawn in there. And as uh, you'll see that as I try and rush back in. There's like three of them in there, so uh, quick panic moment and run away, take them out. And I was going to go around the side through the entrance I went in earlier, catch this guy, but fail on these two here and meet my demise. So I don't know how I got that guy. The match is nearly at the end and it's, look it's looking good for us. We're just about winning on points and we have two flags. So all we need to do is keep him back and keep him into A. Uh, they get B here, but it's not too much of a problem. We're still going to win, I think. And they, they're all kind of gradually coming closer to me here, so I'm having to be a bit careful. No worries, though. Just need to wait up here. Wait for it to end, pretty much. Our final score was... I'll see it in a second. I can't remember. 62-7. to 7. Hope you enjoy the video. My channel is at the end here. Please rate the video whatever you think it deserves. Quick question for you guys, what do you think of the F2000? Do you like it? Do you not like it? If you do like it, how do you use it? Uh, I've been Pyrotos, thank you and goodbye. Be sure to follow us on Twitter. There you'll find the latest updates from our premier directors and the Machinima Respawn team.